Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I am super excited because I'm going to be reviewing one of the three Rude Cosmetics Roaring Twenties palettes. So this one here is the Neons palette. It is so pretty. And then you open it up and here are all of the shades in here. This is a very unique palette to my collection because it has just these bright neon shades which isn't something I have a lot of. So I'm super excited to start today's video out with some swatches and then we will do a quick eye look and test out the formula in this palette. So starting with the swatches, we are going to start right up top here. This one is called Splash. Next we have Night Out. And then we have Classic. Then Gilded. This shade looks so pretty. Kind of more of a topper shade, I would say. But still really beautiful. Then we have Featured. These shades do take a little bit of building, but they do reach a pretty nice pigmentation. Next we have Power Surge. Beautiful shade. And then we have Electric. And then tassels. Next up is sequins. Oh, that one's pretty. Then RSVP. Next up is hot shot. The yellow shade. Next is Enthralled. Next up we have Glitz. And then Sparks. Next up is Bear. Then we have Shocked. Ooh, that one's pretty. Then Liberating. That's a lot lighter than I thought it would be. Still pretty though. Inspired is next. And then we have See Me. And lastly is Cheers. So here are all of the shades swatched out. And with that, we can get into the eye look. Alright, so first up, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, and it is called Inspired. And I'm taking this on an e.l.f. eye crease brush, so it's just a little blending brush. And I'm going to start by just putting this pretty much directly into the crease. And just building it up in there.
They are not very pigmented shades to start out with, but I'm hoping that they will build up nicely. I was so excited to purchase these palettes. I really love the whole 1920s theme to these palettes. There are two other palettes in this collection, I should probably say. If you haven't seen my eyeshadow palette collection video, I showed them in that. That was my last video. I'll be sure to link it down below if you want to go check it out. But there are two other Roaring Twenties palettes by Rude Cosmetics that I also purchased. And I'm so happy to have all three of them. I think they are all so, so pretty. And they're very unique color stories in them for the most part. One's more neutral and then the other one is has some more like darker toned shades. The shade does seem to be building up pretty nicely. It's still not as pigmented as I would like it, but it's doing pretty good. The next shade I'm going to take is Enthralled right here. And I'm taking this on a Wet n Wild brush. And this is going to just help blend out the crease a little bit more. This is a bit of a pinkier tone shade. Whereas Inspired was more purple. But they do seem to be working nicely together. So I'm just taking this and just blending up in my crease. And then on the same brush, I'm going to take Bare right here. And this is just a lighter pink shade. And this is going to go right up top. Everything. And just kind of blend it right up into the brow bone area. Like that. And then I'm going to go back in with a little bit more of Inspired. And just add in a bit more of the purple. Just to get the purple back in here and show up more. Because I don't want this look to get too pink. But these shades did seem to blend nicely together which I'm very pleased about. So, so far, so good. Next, I'm going to be cutting the crease. So I'm going to take my e.l.f. Camo Concealer and then a little e.l.f. Concealer Brush. And I'm just going to do a full cut crease look with this. So I'm going to do that off camera and I will be right back. All right, so once we have the cut crease down, I'm going to take Electric. And this shade looked really pretty in the swatch. So I'm going to just take this all over the concealer. And this is just on a flat brush from Wet n Wild. So like always, when I do a cut crease, I like to start closer to the lash line and then work my way up. So when I get to the edge of the concealer, I try and be very precise to keep that sharp line. The shade does look very neon on my lid. That's so pretty. I wish it was a little bit more green toned because it looks a bit more yellow, especially on camera. I feel like it's picking up very yellow, but in pan it looks a lot more green, but it is still a pretty shade. All right, I'm gonna be taking Featured right here and we're gonna be taking this on another e.l.f. concealer brush. And with this shade, 
we're going to start doing some liner. Just dragging this right along the upper lash line. This wasn't the most pigmented shade in the swatches. So I'm just going to first start by laying it down and then I'm going to try and build it up a little bit. And we are also going to drag it out as a wing. And then connect it up here. This is a little bit of a disappointing shade, not gonna lie. It's not very pigmented at all. So I'm still just gonna work on trying to build it up along the upper lash line, bringing it all the way into the inner portion. I guess it does build up okay. It's still not as deep as I would like it to be. And it's not as deep as it looks in the pan. But it at least builds up a little bit. I'm also going to be taking this and just connecting it to the lower lash line as well. Not going to go all the way across, but just kind of fade it out along the lower lash line. And then next, I'm going to take some more of the Inspired shade, which was the first shade we used in the crease, and run this right along the lower lash line. And then I'm going to take Bare and help blend that out. And then we are going to be taking Gilded right here, and this is going to go right in the inner corner. This shade was one of the most eye-catching ones in this palette, in my opinion. I love a good purple shimmer shade like this. It doesn't really show up completely purple, though. It has, like, a little hint of it. But I guess even in the pan, you can see there's a lot of different dimension to it but it does build up pretty nicely in the inner corner which is nice i'm also going to pop a little bit of this onto my lower lash or onto my brow bone sorry just to add a little bit more sparkle and a little highlight up there so here is the look. I'm going to go add some mascara and I will be right back. All right, so here is the final look. And for this look, I used my Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extension Mascara. It's my absolute favorite. As for the palette, I am happy with how this look turned out. I think the performance of the shades that I used were really nice, but they did take some building. But for a $22 palette, I would say it performed really nicely. The featured shade that I used for the liner obviously didn't turn out as dark and pigmented as I would have liked it, like I was saying when I was applying it, but it did build up to an okay pigmentation. The shade on the lid really is a standout shade in my opinion, and then the matte shades that I used in the crease did seem to blend really nicely. So that makes me really excited to 
test out the rest of the shades in this palette and then the shades in the other two palettes. Let me know what you guys think of this look and of this palette in general. And I will probably be doing some more looks with this palette and I want to test out the other two as well. So be sure to subscribe so you can, so you don't miss out on that. And yeah, overall I would say I am very pleased with having this palette in my collection. I think it is so pretty and there are so many different looks that I can create with this palette. This was just one of many that I plan on doing. So that will be lots of fun to play around with. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Let me know what else you would like to see from me. And with that, I will see you all in my next video. Bye!